The president is the first to run for re-election after being impeached, and the outcome of tomorrow's vote seems all but certain. But Nancy Cordes reports tonight on some news from Capitol Hill. I will be voting to acquit the president. In the wake of an 11-day trial, the jurors got their say today. That I will vote to remove President Donald Trump from office. I'm voting no on both of these articles. He absolutely, unequivocally is guilty. Senate Democrats argued acquittal will embolden the president. Republicans in the Senate are offering him unbridled power without accountability, and he will gleefully seize that power. Republicans said a conviction would undermine the voters. The Senate has never removed a president. Though some did concede that Mr. Trump pressured Ukraine using U.S. funds. It was wrong for him to ask a foreign country to investigate a political rival. The party urged President Trump not to bring it up tonight. I hope he looks ahead. Hope he doesn't dwell on the impeachment. In fact, it'd suit me fine if he didn't mention it. His acquittal tomorrow is assured. So the only question now is, will any senators cross party lines in this historic vote? All eyes will be on Utah Republican Mitt Romney, along with three Democrats from Republican-leaning states. Nora? All right, Nancy, thank you.